Hey everyone, it's Kenzie Lentz here. And if you wanna know what books to read this year, then stick around for my reading list for 2021. Let's go. You guys read that title. We're gonna go over what books to read this year in my reading list for 2021. Now, the majority of these books did come from Amazon. I did an Amazon um, a book haul. I purchased a lot of the books there and I got like one book from Macari. So we got a lot to get to. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, to make this video just a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna go through these books and I have to do it under one minute. So I got my little clicker here, my little timer, so we can go ahead and get through these videos because I know that your time is precious, okay? So if you are new to the channel, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time watching, Hey, thank you for joining me and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get right into our first book. Ah. Our first book is called The Energy Codes. Now, this book is um, a national bestseller and it talks about, I looked through it really quickly, it talks about seven step system to awaken your spirit. Now, in this book, I did see a lot of references talking about the chakras, the third eye, um, how to get rid of negative energy, the steps you need to go through, um, a lot of yoga, a lot of breathing exercises, a lot of meditation. So I thought this book was really, really interesting um, to go ahead and see you know, like what good information I can get regarding, you know, getting rid of, you know, negative people and accepting like all positive energy into my life. So yes, it is a seven step system to awaken your spirit. And I'm just going to read really, really quickly what it says on the back. It says through years of advanced study and research in energy, healing and medicine, the energy codes is a life changing program that has now enabled thousands of people around the world to overcome pain, disease, fatigue anxiety and depression okay that's what the energy codes is about y'all ah! next up we have the four agreements now um this book here there are actually i believe there are three books in here and i heard another pastor talking about this book that this was one of his favorite books so i'm like let me go ahead and pick it up so in those books it talks about a practical a practical guide to personal freedom um the next one is a practical guide to the art of relationships it talks about fear-based beliefs and assumptions that use um undermine love and lead to suffering and trauma in our relationships and then the other one is a practical guide to inner peace and this one talks about emotional suffering and how to restore joy in our life and stop believing lies and you know just believing in yourself so yes yeah, so this is three books all in one and this here is the four agreements okay this is on our reading list for 2021 Next up, we have Attached. I am currently reading this book right now, and this is a book that literally everyone must read. It talks about um, the categories of attachment, and they include being anxious, avoidant, and secure. So someone who is anxious in a relationship, they may be preoccupied with their relationship and tend to worry about their partner's ability to love them back. That's me. I, I figured out really quickly. That's the category that I fit into. Avoidant. Um, they equate intimacy with a loss of independence and constantly try to minimize closeness. And someone is secure. They feel comfortable with intimacy and are usually warm and loving. So this book, it breaks down um, the anxious, avoidant, and secure. And it lets you, like, you have, like, different questionnaires that you need to do. And it lets you know, like... Which person gels well with you? So if you're an anxious person, avoid it. That's not just a person. You need someone who is secure. So this is a really, really good book for everyone to read. Next up, we have Moon Magic. Now, this is a different book. I'm currently reading this book. And basically what this book talks about is um, manifestation and meditation. But doing it... Um, around the moon phases so for example say it's a new moon that is your time to set like new intentions to you know say new goals to write those goals down so you do everything based on the moon and also talks about a little bit about horoscope too this is a very very interesting book and if you kind of really think about it we do these things anyway like you know growing up your grandma used to say oh, it's it's a full moon don't go out there and acting crazy you know people in the streets they acting crazy so it kind of it brought me in the mindset of that is that we do things based on the phases of the moon so that's really what moon magic is about it's a very very interesting book and 
yeah, it's it's different. So try it out. Our next book is called Emotional Detox. I think we all need to like emotionally detox from something or someone in our life. So this book is a um what does she do? Seven steps to release toxicity and energize joy. So the seven seven steps that included are clear, look inward, emit, activate joy, nourish, nourish, surrender, and ease. So it is a seven step system, and um, it talks about law of attraction, um, your reaction, your experiences to fear, negativity, worry, anger, or doubt. That these are obstacles. Obstacles that everyone goes through in their life. So I thought this would be a really, really good book to go ahead and try out. So go ahead and we got Emotional Detox. Our next book, The Best Yes by Miss Lisa. I do not know how to pronounce her name, but it's Tur Turquoise. I have several of her books. This is probably about the fifth or sixth book of hers that I have. She's an excellent um, author, a woman of God. So she talks about her experiences. So in this book, it talks about the ability to say no and to say yes to the things that you want to do. So if someone wants to do something and you're not just saying yes to be a people pleaser when you know that there is something else that you want to do. So I thought that this would be a really, really good book. Um, it talks about big differences between saying yes to everyone and saying yes to God, okay? Yes to God. So this is Miss Lisa. This is the best yes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start this book for February, we're gonna put this on our reading list, and this is um, our book for 2021. Next up, we have How Not to Die. I started reading this book um, a couple of months ago, and it I was hooked in literally the first um, chapter. It talks about you know how a lot of you know your heart disease, your diabetes, you know your hypertension, all of these things are caused by our food, and I I am a hundred percent in agreement with that. So it talks about switching to a plant based diet to um, get rid of these um, diseases that have you know plagued Americans. You know, like it's crazy, like diabetes. Like why is everyone like obese? Like you have to think about it. This stuff is coming from our food. So this is me reading this book. Um, it's like one of the reasons why I want to switch to a plant-based diet. So this is how not to die. And it gives you so much information and it really has you thinking like, oh my gosh, what am I really, you know, ingesting into my body? So yes, this is how not to die. All right, we got Mr. Dave Ramsey. This is the only book that I purchased from Macari. I have been hearing so much about this book and I saw it in Target. And I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. So this is our money man, okay? This guy, I mean, I've been reading about him. He has helped people save like so much money, help people get out of debt quickly. So, you know, I wanna be one of those people too. So we're gonna put this on our reading list, you know, to help with our financial goals. And um, he is a finance coach. Um, he talks about money makeover, um, giving you wisdom, you know, and just how to save money, you know, how to pay off debt, how to pay off debt for your car, your houses, how to recognize dangerous money myths, you know, how to secure a big fat nest egg for emergencies and retirement. We all need extra money. So yes, this is Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeover. This is on my reading list for 2021. Next up, we have Sacred Women by Queen of Food. I started reading this book, and this book is, she gets a little heavy. So this book talks about the woman and going back to Africa and how we were queens and how we valued our body. And it um, it goes about and it talks about, you know, cleaning your energy, cleansing your body, cleansing your house cleansing you know your life of you know people who are not supposed to be there so it's a guide to healing the feminine body mind and spirit it has a lot of different rituals in here um it talks about meditation again meditation and yoga is a big thing restore uh restoration of the womb um you know just praying meditation just renewing healing your past so this is queen of food Okay, the sacred woman. 
And our last book that's on my reading list for 2021 is Self Care by Miss Nikita Gibson. Now, this book is a guide to holistic healing, internal and external care. I briefly glanced through this book and she has like a lot of good information in here. She has a lot of uh, different recipes you can do for your face, um, for your skin. There's a uh, Bible scriptures in here. You got Isaiah 41 and 20. Um, she talks about meditation, um, how to change change how to get happiness um skincare regimen hair regimen so like this here this is a face mask for what this is for you got one for sensitive skin and one for rough skin so yes yeah, so i'm going to be going through this book and doing some of these recipes for self-care so if you guys want me to do videos on some of the recipes that are in this book go ahead and put that down in the comments okay because we're all about self-care for 2021 oh my gosh guys that was rough i don't know what made me do that but that was really hard trying to get through those books in under a minute you guys see some of that stuff it was like a minute and five but anyway those were my books that I'm going to read this year. They're on my reading list for 2021. I hope you guys, you know, join me on this journey. You you already know that I am doing a reading challenge, okay? In our reading challenge, we are reading at least one book per month. At least. That's the minimum. So we'll have 12 books underneath our belt by the end of the year. And depending on how I'm feeling, you know, I may not just stick with these books. I have at least another 20 to 30 books upstairs that I still need to read. And I'm pretty sure I'll probably be ordering more books, you know, as time goes on. I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. And if you know if you like the content that you see, we are doing weekly uploads. And I also throw in midweek uploads and i make sure that i go ahead and post when um when i'm doing those uploads but you know some people are missing out so i need you to go ahead and subscribe and hit that push notification so you know when those uploads are coming okay because you you don't want to miss out okay because this channel what we are focused on guys self-care for 2021 so i really hope that Everything that I'm talking about, all this knowledge that I'm giving you guys is beneficial to you. I just want to share with you guys my journey to self-care and that you take some of these tips and incorporate into your life. We all know that, you know, everything is not going to be positive. I'm going to have failures along the way. That's just life. That's what it is. But I'm going to make sure to share those failures with you guys also. So you guys can see it's, 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 not, it's not an easy journey, okay? Everyone's journey is going to be different and everyone's going to have different battles. And, it, you know, that's just it, it is what it is. So thank you again for watching. Okay, it's Miss Kenzie Lenz. Be good. Have a blessed day. Be productive. And we'll see you guys again next Friday. All right, you guys. Be safe.